Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Thonger and today I am bringing you another Dawn of War 2 Retribution Online commentary video. This game is a 2v2 game played on the Calderas refinery and it's a grim dark place, very dry, very desolate, looks quite post -apocalyp apocalypticness mixed in with grim dark 40k industrialness. So anyway, let's have a look at the players right off the bat over here. Um, I can't remember. Okay, here we go. So on the blue team here, we have Star Child, play. Oopsie, playing as the Plague Champion. He has is sporting the Black Legion color schemes. Look at the Plague Champion. That is quite disgusting. Who would want to be his friend? He has a face only a mother could love. And we have Mustafa 007 playing as. The Orc Commando Knob, he is playing, uh, his army is blue and colour, mixed in with the greenness of the Orc Warg. Anyway, I am playing as the Imperial Guard over here. I have the Inquisitor, she is very pretty in her black leather armour, and her power sword and her plasma pistol. And my ally, uh, is playing as... The Chaos Sorcerer in the Thousand Suns color scheme. So very fitting that he be playing as the Chaos Sorcerer. As they are the Thousand Suns are the Chaos chapter for sorcery. Anyway, let's kick things off right here. So right off the bat, I am going for a second Imperial Guardsman squad, and uh, Gote is going for a second Chaos Tactical squad, while Star Child is going for a Chaos Space Mean squad. And Mustafa is going for a shooter boy squad. Um, most players are just rushing straight for the power nodes. Over here I am rushing the rec points as uh, I don't really have any power nodes near to me apart from this one over here. And that is, it is symmetrically placed between both teams but I wanted requisition in this game. And I know that most chaos players would like to go for double chaos tactical marines. So requisition is always helpful. So my uh, ally is pushing straight for the Zichy point over here while his heretics are capping uh, the power nodes right behind him uh, straight away pumping a power node right off the bat well, We do have the Plague Champion leaving a sickly green trail of disgusting slime behind him What a des disgusting little fellow over here Like I said, he has a face and smell only a mother could love Anyway, we do have some initial contact over here with a uh, double guardsman going up against the Slugger Boy squad over here my guardsmen are taking a few casualties as they are being chased by the commando knob but I do get a war stomp off. Uh, I didn't realize the war stomp actually knocks back your own guys but it seems it does. It didn't cause me too much damage, it just tossed my guys about. Now I'm trying to root out this uh, commando knob but he does have good cover so it's going to be a bit difficult for my guys to sort of flush him out of here by my uh, Inquisitor just comes charging in, firing a plasma pistol and waving her power sword around so he is going to be forced back. He does cloak and does sort of infiltrate out of there. Now my ally it did manage to force back these Chaos Heretics but he is uh, facing some quite stiff resistance from this Plague Champion and his Chaos Mace, Space Marines here. He does charge his melee Heretics in and this does force the retreat before uh, these Chaos Space Marines take too much damage. You know I am coming forward with my uh, Sentinel over here just to cap away this point from my opponent and make them waste a few more seconds as they recap this point. But we do have double shooters coming forward over here and I know I have to be a bit careful with double shooters on the field. I am inching my guardsmen forward to try and take advantage of some gen bashing here. So I'm going to focus all my guys to target these power generators. Imperial guardsmen without any upgrades, uh, two guardsmen squads in the center and actually have some decent gen bashing abilities. So, and they can do it from range as well which is very nice. Always nice to have good gen bashing ability. Anyway, the double shooters and slugger boys are coming forward to defend the generator farms preventing me from doing any more damage. but. My guardsmen do have good cover and do get quite a few kills off on these orcs before uh, retreating. My guardsmen, uh, I do force these orcs back with a war stop. My guardsmen retreat before taking too many casualties, but they are pretty banged up. Now my Inquisitor and the Sentinel are going to stand their ground over here. And my Inquisitor is just going to charge up right on with a power sword, sticking it right in right into these smelly, filthy orcs over here. And her power sword is actually quite powerful in melee, especially against ranged units. Um, she does cause a sweet knockback over here and bail out just giving her a bit of breathing room just to get on out of there. But my sentinel does force a retreat, pew pewing away at these guys. And uh, one on one this commando knob has the advantage of being able to take cover so I'm going to retreat on out of there while I knock over a few more pillars. Oh no Timber! There goes that pillar. 
Meanwhile, um, my opponent starts out. My ally did warn me of starts out moving his chaos space means into the retreat path of my sentinel. So uh, I, there was little I could do except just try and bail my sentinel as quickly as I could out of there. My sentinel is taking quite a lot of damage from these chaos space means. Fortunately, um, I think I do have the distance to put between these chaos space means so they won't be able to cause. Uh, get the final killing blow, but they did cause some damage. Meanwhile, I am pulling out my Kalachan Devils. Kalachan Devils have great synergy with the Interrogator's armor, allowing them to cloak, allowing the Inquisitor to cloak the Kalachan Devils, and allowing the Kalachans to get in right into the enemy's face with their shotguns, swords, and knives, and pistols, and melted guns, and other killy items. Meanwhile, it looks like the Chaos Player is fortifying this area over here. I'm gonna send my infiltrated Kalachans in, and I'm gonna hit these uh, Chaos Space means with a shotgun blast. It doesn't cause too much damage as Chaos Space means are very tough and I'm going to force melee with them. Um, normally, I wouldn't force melee but I, I figured Chaos Space means can do more damage at range. So, um, anyway, my guardsmen are surging forward over here. The Commander Nob does hold a fistful of grenades but my guardsmen are charging forward so they escape the brunt of the grenade blast. But they do get stunned by a flash bang grenade over here. And my Catachans are forced to achieve very low on hit points with the Plague Champion running around over there. But he, they do retreat without taking any losses meanwhile. My Imperial Guardsmen are t tackling this Commando Knob over here, my ally is moving to support me. Uh, his squad of Chaos Space means they're taking a lot of damage, uh, but the Heretic's getting in the way of the Orc Slugger Boys who are trying to uh, take him out as they retreat. So, my Guardsmen are being forced to retreat over here, uh, not taking too many losses fortunately. Um, at this point I made my first micro error, which was to forget to retreat my Sentinel. So my Sentinel just goes down in a big heap over here, boom, there it goes. So that was a big loss over there, but I figured uh, I was already hitting tier 2, so I wasn't too upset about that. I am very bad at Sentinel play in general. You know, I feel a bit bad that I forced my ally to pump up all the partners. All I did was pump up one measly little power generator over here, but uh, that was very kind of him. Usually I get pretty annoyed if my allies don't pump up power nodes. Now I felt pretty bad that he didn't, that I didn't pump up any power nodes. You know, his uh, Devil Seeders here had a pretty good position, but now they're getting uh, tag teamed by Devil Shooter Boys. And the Shooter Boys using Shooting What's That to um, suppress these Chaos Havocs. So the Havocs take a loss and my ally is going to retreat on out of there. But fortunately, I do arrive with my Imperial Guardsmen and Kalachan Devil Squad. I am equipping them with the Sarge, which gives them a Melder Gun, which is very good against v Vehicles and early Vehicle Rushes. Uh, my Inquisitor is still lying dead over there. I figured... Um, my ally would go to revive her sooner or later and I really wanted to spend the requisition on a chimera. So, uh, my, our opponents, they are rushing a Chaos Dreadnought. I don't know how they got so much power as I managed to wreck a few of their power generators. Um, but actually they do have a fully semi-developed power farm over here. So they uh, have the advantage in power over here. So they have 72 power opposed to us with 62 power. I really should be doing something about this. I think I do get on that sooner or later. Well, me and my team, my ally, we're going for a triple cap at this point with my Catachans and a Guardsman squad in the middle. And I do... My ally does realize that this power farm is being a problem. So my after my Inquisitor caps this point, we're just going to get right on it and steal it right back from under them. So anyway, the Chaos Dreadnought is uh, appearing on the field. It is pretty wicked. It has a power claw and an auto cannon, which makes it very deadly. But it is being equipped with a mark of Zinch, which gives which gives it missile launchers and is very effective against pretty much anything. Against vehicles and clumps of infantry, very deadly missile launcher. And these heretics are uh, getting jumped on by cloaked commando, uh, cloaked slugger boy squads. But fortunately, the Chaos Havoc squad is there on the field to cover them as they retreat. One of the orcs getting horribly gibbed by uh, Chaos Havoc fire. You know, my Catachans did leave a little present for anyone who wanted to cap this point while my Guardsmen uh, are surging forward with them. over here in the Chimera and my Inquisitor. Uh, I do get a grenade blast off. Lots happening over here. Uh, surging for the Chimera. The orcs do not have a AV counter. He does hit my Catachans with a shotgun blast which does do tons of damage to my Catachans but fortunately I don't take any losses. So with the Orcs in full retreat having no answer to my Chimera over here, I am gonna I have a free shot at my opponent's gen farms. So now we are gonna pay them back for all the grief that they caused us early game. And my Inquisitor, you're, you're gonna see how powerful the uh, Inferno Pistol is. I love the Inferno Pistol. It is it pretty much has the power of a last cannon in my opinion and it works well against infantry as well. And she can pretty much raise 
the entire gen farm on her own. Pretty much at the same rate, this entire two guardsmen squads and a chim chimera are probably a bit slower just due to the volume of fire coming out of these guardsmen, but she is doing a pretty good job on her own. I think she does manage to wreck this power farm before these orcs do arrive. So now we do have infiltrated orcs coming in, but my Kanachans, which are detectors, uh, do spot these orcs. So now these orcs are starting to take some fire, and my Kanachans uh, do force them back with a shotgun blast. And I'm just going to retreat, seeing as I have a little peasant wait, waiting for them here, and BOOM! Uh, it does nail a couple of orcs, but unfortunately the orcs weren't clumped up. And now the Chaos General armed with missile launchers has arrived. It does get a glancing shot off of my Chimera, and does get another full volley off of my Chimera. So my Chimera is retreating here. With the orcs advancing behind uh, the mighty chaos trade not armed with missile launchers. But my ally is arriving here and he does cloak his troops and he does have blood letters on the field as well. So now my guardsmen are going to stand and fight. With the chimera nearby, I can reinforce them indefinitely. My guardsmen aren't really getting slaughtered over here, but with the commissar and with the sarge, uh, they reinforce three soldiers at a time and they can just keep pumping on out of the chimera. My guardsmen took a bit of damage over there, so I'm just going to execute some Garzan and send them right back into the fray and with reinforced Garzan they can pretty much uh, be back at full strength in a couple of seconds as Garzan pretty much cost nothing so I'm just going to reinforce him and my ally is just uh, holding off this Chaos Dreadnought over here I am calling in uh, Infiltrate the Stormtrooper squad and I'm going to give them an anti-armor kit so our, our opponents think they have a pretty strong position over here with the Chaos Dreadnought very little can touch it but these uh, blood letters do spring on the Chaos Dreadnought and uh, since it has the Zeech upgrades, these blood letters are actually tearing right into this Chaos General. So this Chaos General is in a world of trouble, but the melee heretics are rushing in. Now I do have my Stormtroopers with anti-armor kit springing on the flank of this Chaos General. So now this Chaos General is in a bit of trouble, gets hit by Melder Bomb, Judgment's on it, and my Inquisitor, and everything just destroyed this poor little Chaos General. His corpse gets rolled over by my Chimera, so uh, that Chaos General died very, very quickly. But we do have a Plague Spell coming out on this giant clump over here, so this is going to force me and my allies to retreat. A lot of guardsmen are starting to fall over here. Uh, yeah, so the, this plague trail just leaving a wake of a, corp, a trail of poor little dead guardsmen in his wake. And my chimera is just going to inch back a bit. I'm not going to force force it back too far because I know my ally is nearby and I do have my stormtroopers just uh, running around, capping, running disruptions behind enemy lines. I love stormtroopers. Uh, quite squishy for a semi elite unit, but. With, with them melted guns, they can really uh, unleash a lot of hurt on a lot of guys very quickly. But I do see these orc slugger boys appear and stormtroopers uh, aren't really kitted out for one-on-one -on -one slugging matches. They're more for springing ambushes and running disruption behind enemy lines and infiltrating and assassinating enemy vehicles like manticores. Very useful for assassinating manticores. And we do have these slugger boys. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they did run into a bunch of blood letters and slugger boys uh, really don't want to be mailing blood letters. They are getting some, doing some good damage on the blood letters over here, but they are really horribly ex exposed over here. And my Chimera is right in the in his retreat path over here. Uh, we do have double orc slugger boys uh, with a pretty strong presence in the center, and with the orc commando now armed with his rocket launcher over here, that he's doing some pretty heavy damage to my Chimera. So my Chimera is gonna have to get on out of there. My stormtroopers are taking a lot of damage. Really don't have the numbers, the armor, or the hit points to be engaging with double slugger boys in the slugging match over here. So now my ally hit, he does cloak uh, his kill saucer away just in time and my catachans have appeared on the field, they are cloaked. My inquisitor is taking lots of damage, uh, being focused fire down but the catachans are right there just uh, on the field to support and they do hit with the orc these orcs with a shotgun blast and are gonna get right on in into the fray. So the orcs do retreat, uh, these chaos space means uh, in a little bit of trouble, uh, trying to turn to face my Catachans, but I just kite my Catachans away. Uh, hit these guys with the Hammer of the Witches, and with the arrival of these Blood Letters, these Chaos Space Means uh, did retreat at the right time. I'm not sure if my ally is going to get the squad kill off on these Chaos Space Means, but it appears not as they are slowed by the trial of Mucus and Pus, and other foul bodily odors and discharges from these Plague Marines over here. But the old commando knob has been brought down in the center. There he is, worthing in pain, gaping his big ugly mouth round. And my guardsmen have returned on the field, uh, fully at full strength, fully kitted out with the commissar, plasma gun upgrade. One of them has the plasma gun upgrade at least. Plasma guns, commissars, and sarge upgrade. So 12, 24 guardsmen are on the field of Chimera. A very deadly force. But um, Mustafa 007 has pulled out a knob squad. 
Uh, one thing I am, have yet to see is a war truck. War trucks are extremely useful for orc players, allowing orcs to pretty much reinforce indefinitely on the field, pretty much the way Imperial Guard players can. Uh, now we have a cloak champion, not sure how he is cloaked actually, maybe the commando knob is allowing him to be cloaked. Yes, it appears uh, he, he is being cloaked by the commando knob, so he can move in and res his ally. You know, we did have some skirmishing going on over here, but the blood deaths were forced back by uh, CSM, double CSMs. And we do, uh, my ally does have his uh, Zinch mar Marines over here, uh, lending some pretty good fire support. Nobs were trying to chase my Chimera down, but the Catachans do arrive, and with their shotguns, they can really lay down some pretty heavy hurt on these knobs. So these knobs, a bit isolated, so uh, being forced to cheat, they probably could have taken on my whole army, but they would have taken needless losses if they did, so... Uh, quite a wise decision backing off right there. Meanwhile, this Kerso also once again in a bit of trouble, taking on the whole army, causing some casualties and uh, warp fire burning into these orcs over here. Uh, the retreat part right through the middle of my army. Unfortunately, I had no special abilities of grenade blast to hammer these guys into smithereens, but I did get a couple of model kills. But once again, guardsmen not great for causing model losses on squads. As they don't do spike damage, they tend, the damage tends to be quite evenly distributed throughout the entire squad. This Chaos Marine squad are uh, very low on hit points. Uh, Zinch Marines actually very effective against other tactical space marines, but against Imperial Guardsmen not so much due to sheer weight of numbers. And once again, my Stormtroopers is doing what Stormtroopers do best, just capping behind enemy lines. Um, uncapping this power node. Uh, this power farms have yet to be repaired, so our opponent's power income is very uh, severely impaired at this moment. So they're probably gonna have to want to spend the requisition, but this late in the game, power does not really matter so much. But still, any bit of resources you can get is a good bit of resources. So once again, my Imperial Guardsmen are piling into my Chimera, as the Chimera is a great piece of synergy with Double Guardsmen. The Chimera can put out an extra bit of fire with Guardsmen inside. So these orc Slugger boys are in a bit of trouble, we're having to retreat right through our guys over here. Uh, my Chimera is hounding them at every point, my ally does warp his blood letters in front of them, and uh, with a kind of chance hitting them with a grenade burst, but unfortunately the rest of the orc horde arrives and uh, these guys are forced back. I do force these knobs back, uh, allowing my Garden to pile on out of the Chimera, just to give me a little bit of time when my uh, Inquisitor is really getting focus fired down by, by these orcs over here. Uh, some grenades really slamming into my guards, guardsmen, but my guardsmen did manage to get to my camera. Chimera does go down, my inquisitor goes down as well, but my stormtroopers are focus firing these orcs and with their melter guns are actually causing quite a bit of damage over here. Now my guardsmen do pile out of this wrecking, uh, wrecked corpse of a chimera in front of these plague marines and are firing on these plague marines. My, these knobs are in a bit of trouble over here. I'm uh, not sure if they're gonna escape, the blood letters are not. Uh, relenting, but the blood that is now uh, a little bit of trouble, a bit overexposed, and getting focused fire down by all these orcs. So now my Kenner Chance were mailing these uh, plague marines, and a chaos space marine does go down, hit by by a burst of uh, sorcery over there. And these chaos plague marines are being forced back, and the commando knob does go down as well. So a huge fray in the center, but me and my ally came out on top of that. Uh, I did not, with the exception of my Chimera, we didn't lose any squads. And the orc player uh, almost lost his knobs, and you really don't want to be having to reinforce all three knobs. As no knobs are quite expect expensive, 75 rec and 15 power apiece. You could build whole squads with the amount of power it takes to reinforce a knob squad. So meanwhile, my inquisitor did go down, but was revived again by my helpful ally. My inquisitor probably dying way too much in this game, but um. She is do it, being very useful in her own right. So anyway, I'm pulling out a Lehman Russ over here. Lehman Russ are a very useful tank to have, a heavily armored battle tank. Not, not as squishy or as fragile as the Space Marines predator tank in my opinion. Um, but we do have a mark of Zinch Chaos predator arriving here and uh, these, this auto cannon team is really in a bit of trouble here getting hammered by Horn Space Marines over here and by uh, Chaos Predator. But my ally has put out a Chaos Predator of his own and he is trying to get out of there but my Lehman Rust gets in the way so I realize my Lehman Rust is blocking his way so I just pull my Lehman Rust right on out there. You know I know that this Predator is here so I'm pushing forward to try and cut off this Predator's escape. My double guardsmen uh, trying to do what they can but I realize that this 
huge oak horn is going to be more than a match for my poor little Gosman over here. My Lehman Rust does get a pretty sweet shot off but doesn't get any kills. And I'm just trying to get out there. I do uh, use a grenade blast to throw these orcs back to give my Lehman Rust some breathing space and as well as killing a few orcs. Now my Lehman Rust is going to about face um, running behind the shelter of this huge great unclean one over here. My Inquisitor once again uh, in the middle of the fray, sort of cloaked, not doing much, just getting shot to pieces. My Lehman Rust uh, causing some good damages with his sponsoring weapons firing away. And my Inquisitor is in trouble with this uh, Zinch uh, tank firing on her. I know this Chaos Predator is in a bit of trouble with Blood Edder swarming in around it and my Lehman Rust surging forward. I think our opponents, uh, the Chaos player has pretty much lost everything at this point, so they are going to concede this game. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this intense 2v2. I really enjoyed this game. My ally was super helpful. And yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy playing Imperial Guard with the Inquisitor a lot now. So if you guys enjoyed this game, uh, leave comments and subscribe and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. If you want me to cast a replay, just send me an email to fanga at hotmail.my. I'll leave the link in the description below. See you guys next time. Fanga out.